Hi everyone, I'm Davy, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about what I'm doing during this pandemic time to prepare myself and what I'm doing to prepare myself spiritually and mentally as well. So this is a little bit different and I just wanted to hop on here because Facebook is blowing up, the news is blowing up about everything going on and I just want to share my two cents. So I'm in my comfy flannel, um, it is a Sunday afternoon and I just want to share with you a little bit of what I am doing. So first things I've been doing is I have stocked up a little bit on some groceries. Now I am in South Dakota so we um, did shut down our schools. I'm a teacher so yes we did shut down for the next just week. So yesterday my husband and I went to Walmart which is 40 miles away and got a few more necessities food wise. We are pretty well off overall because we have a freezer of some meat. Um, my husband does some hunting so we already had that but a few more canned items and the sad thing is the produce doesn't last very long so if we happen to be stuck in our homes for weeks I'm not gonna get the fresh produce so frozen vegetables and fruit um, some canned soups and I already had a lot of rice and quinoa and some pasta on hand and there's only two of us my husband and I and then our little baby girl so it's not like we needed to um, go buy huge massive amounts of product and I already had toilet paper on hand because for some reason when a pandemic hits people think they have to buy a year's worth of toilet paper anyway I digressed there but um, yeah we already were pretty set on quite a few things and I felt like we were pretty good on that however the aisle of eggs was completely out which is so strange to me so thank goodness I have a church friend who raises chickens so I am actually going to be heading out and buying like five dozen eggs just to have on hand because um, we eat four to six eggs every morning so um, I just want those to have on hand. So that is what I was doing for preparation for food wise. Um, I already have a Yang Ling Bing hand sanitizer that I have. Um, since school is no longer in session, I won't be teaching. I'm not too worried about the hand sanitizer part. Um, I am diffusing quite a bit of um, like breathe essential oils, um, um, congestion, because my little daughter's got a little sniffle and some congestion, some thieves, just preparing myself internally to taking an elderberry supplement, um, just taking some emergency packs as well, just because I want to keep warded off. We did have church this morning and we did go. Uh, so that is what we've been doing, what currently is happening with that status. Um, oh, one thing I did find at the Walmart that I was shocked was a three pack of Kleenexes. I had to crawl on the shelf to get it though because I don't think anyone wanted to go crawl under the shelf and get the boxes. Um, I honestly did need Kleenexes, especially with my little girl blowing her nose like 20 to 30 times a day. So that was um, quite the experience to do. So anyways, that's what we were doing food wise. Um, Health wise, we wash our hands all the time if we go out and about. Um, come home, wash your hands. I use baby wipes and like I said that thieves young living uh, hand sanitizer if we do go out and about like we did yesterday um, and just try not to touch other people like we didn't shake hands at church today and we didn't even pass offering today so just trying to keep ourselves safe. I don't want to be unwise with what I do. So mentally I feel um, pretty I'm one who honestly I do get anxious and um, being a teacher and having been exposed to lots of kids, lots of germs, I am a little anxious about this to be honest with you and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it makes me realize I need to rely more on God. And so <laughs> funny thing, not funny, this is actually just how God works is I was reading in my scripture yesterday and I was reading from, I have my Bible on the ground here, so um, Luke 12, where is this at? Sorry, Luke 12, um, 22. Let me just read it to you. 
Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Worry. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I think our world is kind of especially America, um, having some struggles with right now. And yes, I have succumbed to some of the posts online and the media, and it makes it more difficult. It makes you worry quite a bit more. So I just wanted to share that scripture with you. Like, why are we worrying about something that is out of our control? We need to be wise, like I said, and take precautions, but we don't need to freak out and um think we're all gonna die i mean i don't know what's gonna happen we have no control over the future and i think we just need to be more reliant on christ we're more reliant on what he says for us not to worry worry is a sin and that's something i struggle with and something i need to give up to god and i think this is a time for us as believers to step up and say hey if you don't know christ this is a time, if you're worried about your life, this is a time for you to be like, where will I go after I die? And I think um, we as a church, as believers, can share that. And I want to share that with you. So that's what I'm doing mentally and spiritually to prepare my mind. I am relying on God's word. And um, my husband is a stable man and a rock and i rely on him for prayer in our family and um, just sharing things with him so that we can um, come through this uh, crisis at this time for however long it may last we don't know again we can't worry about that if it will last two weeks if it will last five months we have no control over that so i just wanted to share that with you um, and I hope it encourages you. If you have any questions about my faith, um, if you are curious what you can do to prepare yourself for this too, spiritually, mentally, food-wise, <laughs> comment below. So anyways, I hope this is a blessing to you and encouraging to you in this time of um, panic for a lot of people. So anyways, I will leave you with that and I will be coming at you with another video. Um, actually, probably a bonus video on Wednesday. So anyways, I will talk with you then. Have a blessed and wonderful day.